What up, gang? Caroline Jackpot time coming at you on Sunday morning, January 15th. I hope everyone's having a good one. Hey, uh, I want to get on here real quick and uh, talk about something that I saw that I, I guess uh, started off Friday and led into yesterday uh, afternoon-ish uh, when I first uh, caught wind of this. Uh, so, a little backstory here for the uh, Carolina Jackpot uh, subscribers and watchers who don't know what, what this is. Um, on There is an upstate uh, South Carolina uh, sports talk show host uh, named Mark Ryan. It's over on, uh, I think it's AM radio, maybe. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. He may have moved, graduated up to FM by now. Anyway, I've, I've listened to him uh, before, and I mean, it's not a bad sports talk by any means, and he's pretty well informed, uh, one would think, most of the time. I, I, I mean, I don't have, a, have anything against him other than the fact that he, he likes to kind of take to Twitter and kind of stir the pot up a little bit. He's a, a Florida graduate, so he claims to be neutral uh, in the Clemson, South Carolina thing, but anyone can tell by reading and looking at this post on Twitter and just from the banter and things that he uh, chooses to um, create content about that he's Clemson-leaning. He, he's Clemson-leaning, um, which... I can't say that, that that's necessarily a bad move by uh, Mark. You're in the upstate of South Carolina, and you know I, I generally like living here. I'm more on that. Um, but at the same time, uh, this place is inundated with Clemson idiots. I mean, it just is. Uh, you know, the dump is about 45 minutes from here, so you're going to have them. Uh, all over and you've kind of got to like cater to your clientele a little bit I guess is a is more the, the way that you can put it um, I mean for instance uh, he's it, it, well, to me, he's kind of you know it's, it's a businessman really you gotta make business decisions and uh, just like if I were going to open up a shop and sell hip-hop gear gold chains and grills I'm not gonna decide to open it up in Dutch Amish country in Pennsylvania okay I would open it up you know in uh, like downtown Houston or something for instance so you kind of gotta you kind of gotta go with the flow of where you're located at but, but this is what first I'm going to show you and read you off the um, the comment from Shane Beamer right now. Okay, Shane Beamer at Coach S. Beamer says, I normally don't respond to second rate slash JV radio programs I've never heard of. And apparently no one else has either considering you're in the upstate and have 8,000 followers. Do you have a good source other than, oh, I don't know, me? Happy for Barrett. We got our guy. So that's what Shane commented back. Uh, or I'm, I'm not sure. I, sometimes I don't know how, how to, to read Twitter. I, I can't tell if he retweeted it or if he just commented to it. I think he commented on just commented on this thing. But so so here here's what the original tweet that was sent out by Mark Ryan. I'm pretty sure this was an original tweet by him. Okay. Yeah, the original tweet here, and, and I'm going to do this turret a solid, and I'm going to. Um, link that little thing down in the description box below so that anyone can uh, listen to it if you wish. The Fan Upstate at The Fan Upstate says, Shane Beamer and South Carolina really, really wanted Barrett Riley. Clemson got him. What does that say about the tier status of both these two programs? Hmm. So all he was doing there was he had a little snippet uh, with a, 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 a link there of a, a, a part of his show from, uh, I guess, Friday, and uh, kind of, uh, you know, just, just promoting that out there, just to kind of promote his show, just to kind of stir the pot, like I say, and um, Shane, uh, you know, I guess someone tagged him in this, and uh, he um, he didn't tweet that at Shane Beamer, he, uh, I guess, Shane was mentioned, and uh, then he kind of fired back off at Ryan, what, what we read there at first. 
I, this is kind of like it's kind of childish to me um, and that's that's the, the, the whole gist of the video I'm getting at here I you know I, I want to support things that Shane Beamer does because he's our football coach he's not my football coach and by the way I can't stand that terminology either people talk about that's my coach yeah look, look at what my coach the, oh yeah that's my quarterback uh-huh no it's not yours it's ours it's you know it's a team it's somebody that we you know we watch we support it that's no, not mine it's, it just sounds I don't like it. it sounds stupid and I think it came from uh people what was it you know back when I I don't rem I remember if it started up with uh people dissing on Barack Obama maybe uh, I'd say that's not my president or maybe it was the libs uh dissing on Donald Trump with the not my president so it, it was just crazy and, and i think that's where the that's my quarterback that's my coach that's my uh offensive guard i mean that, it's just dumb it sounds dumb he's our football coach and uh i'm gonna support him but come on i'm gonna try to defend him too and i even i tweeted something there back at ryan also i can't even remember what it was you could probably find it on there if you search long enough but here's here's the just Shane, dude. Leave the leave the um the the low level stuff and the uh, you know the bantering back and forth with and you are you're right. I mean he's irrelevant. I mean in the in the grand scheme of things, guy's irrelevant. He does he has eight thousand followers. That's pretty good. I mean I guess for you know a local deal. Uh, but he's still irrelevant uh, in the world of, of big time media. So you really shouldn't stoop down to his, you shouldn't even be bantering back and forth with people that are relevant like that. Uh, much less people like that. I mean, that's like, that's on the level of, of, of going back and forth at it with the Spurs Up show. I mean, come on. Uh, I mean, you, you don't, you'd be better than that. Don't do that. Don't do it. You, you, got, you got to step back, step away from it, Shane, and look at things like that and say, would my dad have done that? Um, you know, would Kirby Smart, who I worked for, would Kirby, the national championship uh, coach two times over, I mean, would he do that? <laughs> would he say, would he retweet that? I mean, would he go back and forth with this idiot? No, I mean, he wouldn't. Um, uh, and you, you got to leave that, that low-level stuff to people like me, just fat guys with camera phones who uh, just enjoy uh, yelling and pissing somebody off. I mean, you, just leave that to us. You just be the coach. You set the example. I know you've got a bunch of young kids, and they probably think that's funny. Not young kids, children. I'm talking about like kids you're recruiting and stuff like. They probably like. They probably like that kind of crap, right? I mean, just you know, you standing up for uh, what you believe in and, and that. But in the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't look good, and it makes you. It makes these these idiot Tater fans gives them even more um, fuel to to throw on the fire the rivalry between us they're they're out there calling you a baby and and this that and other okay well you know baby just kicked your ass 31 to 30 so you now you can put that in your pipe pipe and smoke it that you need to let 31 30 do the talking just let 31 30 do the talking don't don't worry about uh you know what some low level uh tater leaning idiot uh has to say there now getting to my uh what i have to say on this little subject here I can understand why Shane Beamer gets ticked off of that stuff. There was never, it, it never came out of his mouth uh, that he was pursuing uh, Barrett Riley uh, for uh, offensive coordinator. When, this is the way these things work. When there's an opening at a, a Power 5 school here, you, you kind of look at the, 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 the media and the people that get these things together, they kind of look at relationships, who this head coach may know, uh, who he may have had conversations with, who, who may have worked under him in the past that may now be promoted to it. And, and they kind of compile a list that makes sense of candidates. They, they have no, uh, they, they've not seen an official list, like typed out on a piece of paper, this is who we're going after. And, and it has like five names on it. No, they, they don't have that. They don't, they don't have the, the power to get that information. So, you know, they have, they make things up, but I mean, they make them up and, and they try to make logical guesses as to who would be on the list. Barrett Riley apparently never was on the list. So, uh, you know, this is just, uh, it's, 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 it's ridiculous. It's silly. 
is he going to be a good offensive coordinator for Clemson? Probably so. I mean, Clemson has talent on that side of the football. It hasn't been used very well the past couple of years. It hasn't been used very well. You totally wasted DJ Ukulele. I think the guy could have been a good quarterback for you. I don't think it was developed properly. And I'll die on that hill uh, because it, you know it's true. And I think he's going to go out there next year on Jonathan, or this year. It was this year now. And Jonathan Smith's, uh, Jonathan Smith's, this morning. And Jonathan Smith's offense, say that five times quickly. Uh, offense out there uh, with the beef, and I think he's going to flourish. Uh, now, they don't call out a defense in the Pac-12, so uh, that may help the ukulele a little bit um, as far as putting up some good numbers goes. Uh, but, um, you know, I, I look here at, at where this Barrett guy's been. Hey, they won a whole lot of games, okay? Uh, he's been, uh, he's been, uh, he was a uh, you know, like a, 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 a position coach, I think, at, uh, at East Carolina from like 2013 to 16. Uh, not very good. I mean, uh, head coach ended up getting fired, uh, and then Mike Houston was brought in after him. So East Carolina's kind of improved since then. Uh, not very good. Um, then you coached at Kansas as an assistant and, and stuff there at Kansas, okay? Uh, yeah, they were known at the time for uh, – some pretty prolific offenses. Yeah, I think they won a grand total of like four games in the five years you were there, uh, Kansas, or whatever it was. Uh, he did coach on the 2019 team uh, for App State that beat the Gamecocks uh, under Eli Dorkowitz. So uh, there's that. Um, but then uh, then you spent a few years with uh, with old uh, Deputy Dog Sonny Dykes out there at uh, SMU and then TCU. I got Deputy Dog. I mean, this guy, I mean, did you, did you see him? He's like, he's just a shade over 50. Uh, this guy looks like, he looks like he's like 65 years old, and he looks like uh, someone who was a law enforcement character on the Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, either that or like an old school wrestling promoter or something. Could you not see him wearing that white suit and being Colonel Robert Parker? <laughs> just, um, I don't know. I mean, just, he didn't look like a head football coach. Not, uh, not today's head football coach to me. But anyway, deputy, he played deputy dog. So, I mean, he, he doesn't have a real track record of, like, retooling offenses and, and building champion. They made a magical Cinderella run to the national championship this year. Uh, congratulations. It was wonderful. You went out there, and you absolutely got murdered on national television. Uh, not that a lot of teams wouldn't. Not that my team didn't get murdered by them also. I, I'm not saying that. But I think this guy may be a little bit overrated. But I do think that he's going to elevate Clemson's offense next year. This year, well, I keep saying next year, this year, over what it was last year, he will be a better offensive coordinator than Brandon Streeter. That I can promise you. Anything else, I, I can't. And um, I, I really just wish Shane Beamer would stop with, with the – I mean, it, it's funny – and it makes for a um, good conversation piece. But in the grand scheme of things, it's really not the look that you want from your head football coach. You want to see some maturity. Now, now you don't want to see that Will Muschamp stuffiness, the, you know, the wet fart, no personality BS that was Will Muschamp. But, you know, you also... You know, you can have personality, but you can let your emotions get a hold of your personality a little bit too much. And I think that's what Shane has a tendency to do. So we, we need to kind of steer clear of that. And, um, hey, dude, just um, level up a little bit, man. Level up. You are um, a great uh, addition to uh, the Gamecock uh, staff. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say here. You're a, you're, you're a, um, we're happy to have you. I, I, I'll just say that. We're happy to have you. Uh, there's no one else I'd really rather have right at this point in time to try to rebuild this football program. You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. But just, you know, uh, you know, these, these idiots out here that, that are trying to, to bring you down, uh, just don't let them do it. Don't let them do it. Don't let them get the upper hand on you. Don't let them, um, ruffle your jimmies anyway 
let them do that to me. And I, I'll get I'll get back and forth with them a little bit. I'll see you guys later. I appreciate it. Peace. I'm out of here. Enjoy your Sunday. Uh, go Gamecocks. Uh, go Coach Beamer. Um, congratulations to the Jacksonville Jaguars last night also and, and Trevor Lawrence and all the uh, the new uh, Jacksonville Jaguar fans here in the uh, upstate of South Carolina who have recently uh, burned their Carolina Panthers merchandise and uh, went out and bought Jacksonville Jaguars merchandise off of uh, Amazon. I'm sure that uh, I'm sure they're going to make a deep run into the uh, into the playoffs. But uh, hey, they came back last night and won, so that's great. I'll see you guys later. Appreciate peace. I'm out. Go Cox. Woo! Ah ah ah.